Hello everyone, I'm glad that you clicked on this video because probably you are interested in how to write the motivation letter. Um, I will just tell a few words about myself before. My name is Tania and I'm currently an ESC volunteer in the Mladinfo Slovensko. And uh, if you want to know more about what is ESC, how you can participate in the volunteering abroad program, you can always find this a cool video which we made especially for you to explain how you can contribute from this uh, so we recommend you to check the video we will leave you the link in the description so motivation letter it's one of the most important part before applying for the any of the projects um, including the ESU projects so that's why we decided to talk a bit more about this because there are a lot of questions about it there are a lot of hesitations about this and hopefully this video will help you to deal with them First of all, we would like to recommend you to build a certain structure for your motivation letter. Actually, we are recommending currently to use a very simple one, which includes introduction, main part and closure. Um, you can always, of course, add another part you feel like adding. However, um, we want to remind you that long motivation letters no one is reading, so please try to stay as short as possible. And in general, we are saying that introduction should tell a bit about you and to make us interested in you. The main part should explain why did you decide to go on the ESC and why should we choose your candidacy. And the closure should be kind of a call to action and to give us impression of what type of person you are. And now let's talk a bit more about each of them. Uh, first part is about introducing yourself. So we would really like you to answer the question who are you, what are you doing in life? Uh, we want to also remind you that you should stay polite, so don't hesitate to start your letter with dear Mr. Mrs and of course uh, to write a short introduction about who you are, what you are doing and what your hobbies are about, uh, but again stay as short as possible. Of course it will be nice if you will cover a bit of your experience in volunteering or uh, any other social activities um, so people could see that you are actually not trying to I don't know, escape your country or escape working uh, but you are actually interested in contribution to the society. The next part is the biggest and the most interesting one uh, it's the main part. First of all you should learn more about the organization and what they're actually doing and what the type of project they're implementing and so on uh, because it's super important sometimes to show your interest in the organization and in the project uh, I understand that sometimes it's hard to write 10 motivation letters but we really recommend you to work a bit more than a few hours in your motivation letter also don't forget that um, this type of things should be really kind of personal they should be about this organization and project you're applying for it's not a good idea to write one draft and just send it 15 times also don't forget to include the part about why you want to go on the ESC why it's important for you for your career for your self-development why did you decide to contribute yourself to the volunteering as well don't forget to include the part about why you chose this specific project maybe you already was engaged in this topic maybe you have some experience or you have some personal attitude to the issue which this project is solving um, it's important to show the organization that you are specifically looking for exactly this thing also it's a perfect idea to include some examples of the activities you already did and you want to start doing them uh, in the hosting organization or maybe some ideas which just came up or maybe you saw that they are doing something like this on their website and it will be nice if you are already ready to start volunteering with the certain ideas and about how you want to spend this time. Of course, the coordinators will take care of your working, let's say, tasks. However, it will be super nice if you have your own ideas because um, the whole ESC program is actually about volunteering, self-developing and actually implementing your ideas. And the last but not least, it's the closing part. Um, this part I'm calling, let's talk about future. 
um, because actually uh, you should explain this organization how this will change you, what you want to gain through this volunteering and through this project and why it's so important for you to use this opportunity right here and right now. Also, don't forget to include the part about how you're standing out out of all the candidates the organization has um, as well, why you are their perfect candidate and how everything will make this project amazing experience for you. And at the end, very few short tips. Uh, first of all, don't write the motivation letter more than for two pages because it's impossible sometimes to read 30 letters which are like 10 pages long and so on. Uh, of course, you should always check your grammar. Uh, we of course understand that English language is not the native language of all the candidates. However, it's important to understand that the candidate actually spent some time on writing motivation letter and checking it and trying hard to get in. As well, don't use too many visual materials like your photos with the family, friends and so on because it's just making the motivation letter bigger and um, sometimes people just don't have enough time to watch all of them and read them. But if you really want to include few photos, you can do it at the end of the letter. And last but not least, of course, we are leaving you some contacts of our organization. If you are interested in volunteering with the ESC program and you are still wondering what is that, uh, we are recommending you to check our another video where we are explaining very in details what is that. Um, but of course, if you still have some questions, you can always reach us on our social media and uh, even to email to our coordinator, all the contacts you can find in the description to this video. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Good luck in your applications and see you!